Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to another video about using DaVinci Resolve as your editor slash color grading software. In today's episode, we are going to have a look at how to do animations just like this, and how to fix that uh, and make them in DaVinci Resolve very easily. So without further ado, let's go to the edit suite. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve and um, today I'll show you how to do uh, these quick uh, animations and um, let's just, I'll give you two examples on how to do it. So let's just start out by doing this with the, taking this hand down here, we have a, a hand, hand here and then we have the other hand and I'm not going to do the exact same as um, in the video I showed you, so I'll just do a, a random and a quick one. So. Um, to make this animation we'll have the, the hand so I'll just select the top layer and then I will just press D to hide it away so this is um, first we have to figure out where we how we want our animation to be at the, the very end so as you see I clicked here so now I have I can see the animation and I can drag so uh, maybe I'll just have to have the, the top layer on as well. I'll go back to the top layer and push D and select the top layer and then I'm to maybe maybe my end picture would be something like this. So selecting the the bottom layer, going on that, and then go to the inspector. And in the inspector you can just um, hit the, the this icon here and it will set a keyframe for all the transform options and then you go to the beginning of your clip and then we will just drag the hand out so now we'll have a very slow animation like that so okay let's say that's just great for now so let's go to the the top hand and we'll do the exact same thing. Move the time back, and then we'll drag that hand. Maybe it'll be a bit slower like this. Okay, that's a very easy animation. So one thing um, that you can do as well: is take the, click this one off, is to go to your uh, effects library and then go to the generator and then take a solid color and then put that underneath and you see nothing happened but we'll just change the color for that so go to the inspector and then um, in the generator here you'll click the color tab and then let's see if we can figure some very awesome color that's a little too yellow so let's maybe we'll do Something like that. So let's try that. So here we go. We have the animation. So you can we can do a little trick more, which is very good. So first, highlight all the, the layers you have here, all your video tracks, and then right click, and then you do a composite clip. And we'll just call this composite clip one because we don't know what to call it. So what we can do now is we can now we can absolutely do something else we can go here in the um, in the inspector and yet again I'll just click this icon to enable all the keyframes for all aspects so let's say we want it when that's here that want it to be down so here we have the effect now we have a uh, slightly little zoom on as well and it will make it more alive so that's the the first example of um, of doing this effect in DaVinci Resolve so for the um, second e example we're going to do three layers we're going to have uh, one layer here which is um, at the back of the head then we have a, another layer here which is supposedly uh, a body and then we have a bottom layer here as well, which is a table of some sort. So um, 
let's see what we can do with that. First off, we need to take the bo the body layer in the on the top here. Okay, we'll just um, I'll just reframe these things a bit before I do anything. Okay, we'll just zoom this up. A bit. Hmm. That's something like that. And also this one. Like that. Okay, and then let's just uh, quick replace everything. Okay, so maybe we want to have this here and we want to have the, the head to be here and the body should be here or something like that. So and then let's um do a super 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 quick animation for this one. Um let's go. Okay so we'll put in now um let's let's play with the rotation angle here. So we can then Rotate his head a bit. And then let's put in the keyframe there, and then let's rotate the the other way. We have like a very, very simple rotation effect here as well, and of course you can uh, put arms and other things in. And then just to finish this thing up. Um, we will again go to the effects library. Take us all the color because I don't like the black one. Let's just uh, let's take let's take this one, white one. Okay, and then we'll have to add another video track as well. And then just drag those up, put the white underneath. So this is here we have that effect, and then let's. Um, very quickly make this a little more interesting as well. So first off, let's do a new composite cl uh, clip or compound clip, and then just let's call it that. Will be just fine. And um, so now we have this, but I feel like I want to make this look a little more filmic. So if we go to timeline and go to output blanking and then go to Let's take uh, 235, something like that. And then we'll just do a quick animation, uh, or a quick correction. So let's just move this a little bit down. Okay, and then we'll just put the, the zoom. Uh, push that, and let's go to the end. And then let's just super. And let's just super bit in. So here you have it. How to do a very basic um, animation in DaVinci Resolve using PNG files created in Photoshop or other applications. Okay, so I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on our channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep learning, keep filming and keep sharing.